Yeah, yeah pretty keen. Um, obviously, first game back last week, so um, the knee sort of held up and got a good win there. So a bit of confidence going into this weekend. Talk us through just the injury and the comeback a little bit. Yeah, so it was um, got through the game thinking it wasn't too bad, and then um, obviously scans show that it was it was a grade three medial. So. Uh, lucky enough, didn't have to get surgery and uh, got through my rehab and seven weeks post op now, uh, post uh, injury now. So um, yeah, pretty confident with it. Big shoes to fill taking out of basketball. Yeah, well, I don't know who's going to come in on that wing. Um, yeah, it'd be interesting. I'm, I'm think I'm going to play five eight this weekend. So um, yeah, we'll see what happens there on the wing. Yeah, nice. Um, have you played much halves before? Uh, I, I did in twenties. Sarah had me um, at six in twenties. So. <laughs> no, I actually, I actually might be. Um, yeah, no, Sarah played me at, at six in twenties uh, out of Penrith. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty confident to play there. We have done a lot of work at, at fullback in the preseason. So um, yeah, pretty confident. And just out of obviously a loss for you guys. What do you, you know, what's it like not having him in the team? Yeah, it's it, he's obviously everyone knows what what Foxy brings. He's um is such high energy and, and knows the game really well. So. Um, you know, having him out there with sort of a young squad, uh, he brings so much experience and um, everyone sort of jumps on the back of his energy. So uh, it is going to be a big loss uh, not having him there. And um, I think he'll do a great, great job for New South Wales. So uh, I look forward to watching him as well next Wednesday. How proud do you all get to see him and your club represented on the state level like that? Yeah, yeah, obviously very proud. Um, you know, this year probably results having gone the way we wanted. Um, and, and Fox obviously been out for a, for a long period of time there, um, and to come back and sort of jump back into that Blues Blues pos wing position, um, it's huge. And uh, yeah, all the boys are proud of him and um, Birdo. So yeah, we look forward to watching them. And Tavita, obviously unfortunate to miss out. What's he been like at training? Yeah, T's been good. He um, he bounced back pretty well. Um, obviously, the game on the weekend, um, he's probably trying to trying to do too much there and, and help the team a little bit too much and. Um, we addressed all that, uh, you know, through the week, and um, T, T knows what he's got to do, and um, he, he'll take a lot of confidence out of this week's trainings. Um, and yeah, going up against the Sharks, I'm sure he's looking forward to it. Now on the other side, Nick Hines missing out. You expect he's going to come up, fired up. How do you shut down a guy like that? Yeah, we've got uh, we've got things in place where we can uh, try and shut down Nico. Um, we know what sort of player Nico is. He's he's had a really um, good few few years, and. Um, yeah, he's he's a focal point of our, our defence this week and um, yeah, I'm sure we'll do, do a job on him. And just been forward, mate, for yourself, what do you need to do to sort of lock down and stay in the 17 as well? Yeah, it's just, uh, you know, training and, and doing everything every week to, to put my best foot forward and um, obviously playing on the weekend, hopefully I can lock down a spot there and um, Birdo doesn't slide straight back into that six, so uh, yeah, looking forward to the weekend. How do you make up for the loss of Burton as well? Yeah, it's, it's going to be tough. tough. Um, you know, we've got a big training session today where we'll sort of um, figure some things out and um, hopefully get everything right. And um, we all know what Birdo brings as well. So, um, yeah, he's going to be a huge loss, but um, it gives someone else a chance to step up and uh, we're all looking forward to it. Well, like you, can you put up a big bum as well, mate? Yeah, I might leave the kick into the other half, um, whoever that may be. Uh, yeah, we'll see what happens.